hello everybody welcome again to another session of one question a day we are in the development of two chapter and we are discussing today on the histophysiological stages of two development with histomorpho differentiation in detail it is an essay classic essay question given wherein the student is expected to classify the traditional morphological type and correlate with the physiological the histophysiological variant the morphological basis of tooth development is classified into dental lamina bud stage cap stage early bud stage advanced bud stage and matrix formation whereas the histophysiological stages or the initiation proliferation histodifferentiation morpho differentiation and apposition to go briefly into each other the initiation the entire process of tooth formation here the formation of dental lamina and the initiation of the tooth bud from the oral epithelium as dental lamina vestibular lamina everything comes and at the position starting with the fourth to sixth week proliferation from which the tooth bud expands happening or contributing but by bud cap bell advanced bell stages the cells enlarge so an excellent attribute would be the diagrams add it up here and i suggest that you draw a good diagram practicing good diagrams okay remember this question has to be completed within 20 to 20 minutes so this ast preparations so unless you do it multiple times practice it this is not going to help you whatever you draw highlight it underline it label it properly histo differentiation process with cells acquires a functional role and herein we say the laying down of enamel and dentin through the reciprocal induction explain what is reciprocal induction in early bud stage the inner enamel epithelium influences underlying dental papilla that differentiates into odontoblast that laid down dentin this is the organizing stage of the classic and dentin the newly formed dentin influence the ameloblast and ameloblast from the differentiation from inner enamel epithelium to the ameloblast and that lays down the enamel and this is correlated with the formative stage and this histo differentiation is seen in the early bell stage and it comprises of organizing and formative stages of the life cycle of ameloblast and morpho differentiation we say that changes in size shape and position for becoming big and in this stage the crown outline is determined the future dentino enamel junction and dentino cemental junction is traced and this is how a good diagrammatic representation from short columnar to tall columnar the centrioles placement the nuclear position the mitochondrial polarization the golgi borders the dental papilla becoming organized and in this stage the inner enamel epithelium turns into ameloblast this single diagram says to the examiner that you have mastered this subject you know this subject nucleus all this see the candidates has beautifully explained how the key to this diagram reversal of polarity nucleus from center to the proximal end golgi and centrioles from proximal to distal end mitochondria from distal to proximal end cell from short columnar to tall columnar and this is the morphogenic and organization and morpho differentiation is prominent of advanced bell stage apposition is the regular rhythmic deposition of hard structures of enamel and dentin calcification and we touch upon the hairs also so clinical significance attribute to hypoplasia hypocalcification amelogenesis imperfecta dilacerations all things you can you can actually the candidate should have elaborated a little bit a lot of things are possible keep watching our channel to learn more about this this is another candidate's paper where we can see how the candidate has listed out again said that in the same possible way continue to proliferate they undergo stated histo differentiation stage becomes formation bell stage how this differentiation inner enamel epithelium organizing influence odontoblast dentin matrix inner enamel matrix formation of dentin same stuff in a different way so but this candidate has drawn a beautiful clearly neat diagrams with proper labeling morpho differentiation 
so this is how you proceed to write your answer for the histo differentiation diagrams makes a big difference in your answer sheet and apply it, i stress upon will help you to attract and score better and this is the type how you approach a question on histophysiology of uh histophysiological stages of tooth development and correlation this is very important this diagram or table is very very important so stay connected for another session where we will discuss another question and continue learning at least one question a day thank you and stay connected